Coming to you from New York City. Bringing the video podcast for global Filipinos around the world. Watch and listen as we speak and get to know different celebrities, icons, influencers, and inspiring people. Join Jesse Ding and Jay Cass as they talk about anything and everything while bridging the gap between Filipinos of different generations and genres of choice. This is Over a Glass or Two. parang ano eh, club ready all the time. Correct. Ayan. Ayan. Kumusta po kayong lahat? Kumusta ka, Jcast? Kumusta rin, my dear. Oh my God, di ba? Kaka- kakaupo ko lang dito sa chair ko. I know, no? Galing, galing kang dinner. Galing po ako sa Dumbo, Brooklyn. Birthday po ng kaibigan namin at a uh, friend ko po na matagal ko na hindi nakikita pre-pandemic oh. pa yes si Kim oh my god wow so galing Dumbo no ako naman is from New Jersey so kumusta po kayong lahat my god it's been a while no parang feeling ko parang 3 weeks pero la- last week lang pala tayo di ba nag-podcast my god na miss po namin kayong lahat yan ano yung lagi ko sinasabi nakalimutan ko na kasi yun yung favorite ko eh kumusta po kayong lahat sa mahal na mahal naming Pilipinas at sa aming dearest USA. Good morning po sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa The Filipino Channel, FYE Channel in Kumu, Facebook and YouTube. Jeka si ko naman. Go. Yes, from Brooklyn. Good morning po sa lahat ng mga Filipinos and non-Filipinos in different time zones, in different dimensions, in different continents, in different galaxies, in this whole wide universe. Verse, verse! Nabis ka na yung mga silbong verse. Diba? Kasi laki ng universe ang aking pass. I know. <laughs> Puro ano yan, uh, kain at mga cocktails po yan. Ayan, mga cocktails. Ayan. <laughs> Tapos bukas ulit, repeat na naman. Oh my gosh. Ayan, my God. Kasi dito po sa, sa US, naku, uh, ngayon malamig-lamig pa din. So, alam mo naman, medyo boring pag medyo malamig. So, endorse madalas, ba? So, malapit na rin uminit eh. Naku, maraming salamat, Lord. At malapit na uminit. Gagala na po ang mga taga New York at New Jersey sa labas. Ayan. Excited na ba kayo? My God, excited na excited na kami. Ay, ang aming special guest idol to. Sobra. Naalala mo, uh, Jekas, yung ano, uh, Ryan, ano yun? Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Musikahan. Ryan, Ryan music, Musikahan. Yeah, we are not worthy this morning. We are morning. not worthy, my God. <laughs> Maraming salamat, Annie, Miss Annie. Oh my God, that's Annie of, the company, of, that company. of the company. Maraming salamat for introducing Mr. C, Mr. Ryan, kayo, you have to ask. Yan. So ito po, ah, syempre excited na ang lahat, no? Tama na yung mga chikahan namin. I-introduce ko na po ang ating special guest for this morning. night. Oh, yan. Our esteemed guest for this more night is a Filipino musician, composer, and conductor. Regarded as one of the pillars and icons of original Filipino music, he was also named as the National Artist of the Philippines for Music in 2018. Ay, talagang we are not worthy. Grabe. He has forever engraved these songs in our hearts. Lahat to favorite po namin. Kay ganda ng ating mus- musika, araw gabi, kumukuti-kutitap, tuwing umuulan at kapiling ka, maala-ala mo kaya, Can This Be Love, my God, ano yan, iconic song yan, no? And many more. Today, let's, fi- let's find out what is he busy with nowadays and also on how he rose to the top as one of the best Philippine musical directors. Guys, please welcome the one and only Maestro Ryan Kayabyab. Woohoo! Hello, Hi, Kumusta, Jesse? <laughs> Jekas. 
napaka-hyper ba namin sa umaga? Masyad mong umaga dyan. Tapos hyper kami dito ngayon. Kumusta po? Mabuti. Gabi pala dyan, tapos yes. umaga dito. I know, like, no? I was wondering why you were saying, ano yung sinasabi nila? More night? More night. More night. <laughs> oh, kasi iikot sa buong mundo, so tatamaan lahat po ng time zones. Ng time zones, correct. correct. Ayun, speaking of time zone, uh, Mr. C, would you like to say good morning to everyone uh, sa ating mga TFC subscribers, I want TFC and Jeepney TV? Oh, good morning night. To, uh, <laughs> I want TV, uh, Jeepney TV, and uh, TFC. Tama ba? The yes, Filipino, the Filipino channel. channel. Yes, I want TFC. Yes. All right. Oh my God. Alo, kinakabahan kami. Kasi, <laughs> Ryan ka yum-yum. Tapos ako, oh my God. Idol. Kaya nung, when, when, when Annie was like, Jesse, sige, uh, uh, Ryan ka yum-yum said yes. I was, I was like, are you kidding me? Sabi ko nga, nakita ko, sabi ko, is this for real? <laughs> Umuo siya. Maraming salamat po ah talaga for 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 saying yes you know like na ba interview namin kayo sa show namin yan my god dito kumusta na teka bago pala tayo magumpisa may iniinom ba kayo para naman i-welcome ka namin kahit tubig meron kung wala kami na lang mag uh, in, yes sabihin ko wala pero Uh, yeah, hindi ako naka ano, hindi ako nakakuha ng baso. Ng baso. It's okay, it's okay. okay. Lang. Kami na lang ang mag ano, mag uh, tawag dito, mag to toast for you. for you. Yes. Usually sure. ba ano, what do you usually do in the morning? Like first thing in the morning, do you drink coffee or tea or juice? Uh, water. Water is uh, very important in the morning. <laughs> oh, ako akala din. ko, akala Tama. ko exactly, akala ko sasabihin niyo um Actually, Bellini or <laughs> Bellini or Mimosa. Just kidding. <laughs> Ang paga. I'm Ang sure aga, hindi, no? sa umaga, hindi, kati, hindi ka, makukulit na katulad natin ang gusto niya makita. Ano ka ba? Oo nga, correct. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a rare moment. Exactly, exactly. O sige, we will toast for you na lang ha, and we have to welcome you. Ayan. Sa sambayan ng Pilipinas po at sa aming dearest USA. Guys, that's all welcome. Ang pinakakaabangan niyo pong lahat. My Sir Ryan K. of Yam. Welcome, Welcome to, to Over a, a Glass, glass or, or Two. two. Ayan. Cheers! Ayan, cheers po! Mabuhay! <laughs> Mabuhay, ayan. O sige, oh, let's take a ano, pic- Maybe picture photo. Tayo, tapos, picture ayan na, tapos umpisa ng kwentuhan. Okay. One, two, three. Ayan! Alam mo, sir. Ayan na, ayan na yung alam. mga fans ni ano, Mr. Ayan, C. Ayan, my God. Nadadagsaan oh, na sila. Dito, Mar- Mi- uh, Papsi Maris Panlilio and Helita Kapil- Sepilio. Hello, kumusta kayong lahat? Yes, hope you will enjoy the show. At marami kayong matututunan. And hopefully, I'm sure maraming mai-impart na ko si Mr. C sa ating yung lahat. Right? So, sir, kwento nga, teka. Alam mo, sa tutulong, hindi namin alam kung sa kami mag-uumpisa. Sa dami mong iconic ka na kasi, parang actually nung ano nga, nung, um, kasi we, all your songs are all our favorite, right? Yung iba hindi kami aware na ikaw pala nagsulat. Oo nga. Sulat yung iba mga binanggit mo, Jesse, Shayan? sabi ko, ah. Siya yan, siya yan, tagal. As in, siya pala lahat to. Parang, anong sinulat nung iba? <laughs> so, may ganun din. Parang, anong sinulat nung iba? May revive nila. Alam ko na, Jesse, ang una kong tatanong ngayon, visual tayo eh. Mr. Uh-oh. C, okay ba tanong, ano yung nasa likod ninyo? Mga cassette ba yan or uh, CDs ba yan? Sa inyo ba lahat yan? Ano, ano po laman yan? Ano, this is my life work. Puro cassettes yan. Um, siguro from, all the way from the ground hanggang sa roof. Puro cassettes yan. Ano yung sabihin yan? Um, yun yung mga trabaho ko since 1970. Kung hindi ako ang... Uh, usually yung mga nandyan, mga rehearsal tapes o yung mga na-produce kong music o oh. nandyan yung mga music na minsan... Noong time na yun kasi wala pang telepono. So meron kong cassette recorder sa tabi ng piano. Yes. Paka nag-iisip ako ng bagong kanta. Ayun, yun ang ginagamit, pinipindot yun. Kasi minsan, kailangan mo i-record no? yung music mo. Ngayon, ang ginagamit ay device na lang para yes. pag kami naisip ko, nagda-drive ka, uh, ayun, pindutin mo lang yung uh, me- memo or yung voice uh, ng device ng, ano, ng iyong cellphone. Ayun, nare-record mo na yung iyong melody o yung lyrics mo. Pero yan... Yan, ewan ko makikita niyo yan. It's from all the way wow. to the top of the floor. Ayan. Oh my God. Tina, wait. Awa. 
Anak, nagulat ako. Best It's not ano alphabetized. Ako, ah. Oo nga. Ano ka ba? May, may, ano ba yan? may naming convention ba yan? Naka-chronological order ba yan? Naka-spreadsheet pa? <laughs> <laughs> hindi. Ano mo? Although, hindi yan ano ah. Hindi naman, uh, what you call this, hindi naman random yan. Ibig sabihin, nilagay ko yan, uh, yung mga, kumbaga, yung era, kunyari, uh, noong time na nag-rehearse ako ng isang musical, makikita mo yan, tapos, puro musicals yung mga nandun sa magkakatabi sila. Or yung nung na-record namin yung Smoky Mountain, lahat ng mga studies, demos, at saka yung mga final uh, recordings ng Smoky Mountain, nandun na sa isang... Kung baka hindi ko ma-pinpoint, pero alam ko, ah, ito mula dito, 70s yan, pataas, ganun. Tapos mula oh. dito, uh, ano po, ano ba to? Ah, yung iba dito, ano na. Siyempre, I also procured uh, a lot of cassette tapes during that time nung OPM, karamihan dyan, OPM cassette tapes. Either binibigyan ako o uh, karamihan na kailangan kong marinig kasi kasama sa show, pinag-aaralan ko. Mga ganyan. Dami wow. yan. Oh my God. So, wait, ang galing na sir. Because some, you know, like some other artists, the once they don't parang nag para ka bang hoarder kasi you talagang you tried to as in keep all those memories even small recordings talagang ang galing nako baka mahal na yan ha, in the near future <laughs> diba kasi imagine mo you kept all those things priceless that tipong yeah. priceless na i'm sure alam mo nyo, sir na pag may kumuha someone like <laughs> Alam mo, may, someone borrowed this or someone took at least yung isang peraso dito sa, sa sobrang sa ulo mo na. Ang dami kasi. Actually, yeah. Uh, halos, halos lahat medyo alam ko pa kung ano laman yan. Wow. And if I need something, kunyari, I need uh, this musical na Nolly. Kasi I wrote Nolly, Fidi, Illustrado. I wrote Katie. I wrote... Uh, the opera Spoliarium. <laughs> I know. Yes, I remember I, we talked about that. Yes, Can yes, yes. And then I wrote um, this, uh, I wrote for Basil. Uh, yung mga nabanggit mo kanina, mga kanta, tuwing muulan at kapiling ka. Uh, sometimes, somewhere. Yan, mga I wrote that for Basil. Uh, para isum parisukat. Iduyan mo. Um, and then, I don't know if you also know that I wrote for um, um, for the ABS Foundation before. I wrote Sine Escuela and he Raya Manuani. So if you oh know the song, God. Tayo na sa Sine, sa Sine Escuela. Escuela. <laughs> rara, rara. Mga batang 90s, alam na alam nila yan. Definitely, that definitely. That, yeah, there was a time that Uh, all the kids uh, studying from the 90s all the way, I don't know until when, but nanonood sila ng sine escuela sa loob ng classroom kasi that was, that was really made for also for classroom use by the ABS-CBN Foundation uh, ni, ni Ma'am Gina. So you can imagine, no? si, that's why they all know that song kasi naririnig nila araw-araw. Araw-araw, yes. Parang ang LSS na yun, no? Pag naririnig mo isang ganito, parang the whole day you just wanna sing it. Pero sir, alam mo sobra, I really, nasasyak ako sa, ano, genius, actually, kami ni Direk talagang nag-usap kami kanina, sabi ko, alam mo, genius talaga to si Mr. C. Kasi all these songs that you wrote are like, It became classic until now. Kahit yung mga nasa mga Gen Zs knows your songs. So question na, I mean, ano yung process mo of like creating or composing one music? I mean, lahat ba yun? And second question is, na envision mo na that this song is gonna be a hit? <laughs> Actually, no one knows. Most uh, most of us we try to write songs and. Uh, We try to make sure that uh, sana maging hit. No, we actually hope that okay. uh, the songs become hits because alam nyo, the songs be- matter only when they are heard or really actually liked by a lot of people. And it becomes part of the... Actually, all our songs become part 
of uh, the music literature of our country. But people will remember songs that became hits because of, yes, because of that simple reason na uh, uh, marami sa kanila na nagustuhan yung hits. Now, if you ask me what my process is, the process for my writing music, for a long, long time, this is how I work. When I started until maybe until now, but uh, now I have a new dimension in writing. But for a long time, maybe about 50 years, I've been in the business for 53 years. Wow. So for all those years, you know how I work is I have a goal and I write for that particular uh, goal for that particular reason. So, what does that mean? Gumagawa ko ng kanta para sa pelikula kung uh, para akmado sa pelikula. Gumagawa ko ng kanta para sa entablado. Ang goal ko ay para uh, effective yung song para dun sa entablado for that particular uh, palabas. For example, yung musical. Or for, that's why iba-iba yung music ko. Iba-iba yung tunog ng Spolarium, iba yung tunog ng uh, Can This Be Love or Kailan, Kailan Mo Ba Mapapansin. Yun, yung big hit na. So, iba yung process. No, it's the same process I use. Basta ang importante is yung goal. Uh, ano ba yung gusto kong gawin? Gusto ko magkaroon ng hit song, pipilitin ko siya maging hit song. Gusto ko manalo sa isang contest ng mga songwriting contest. Ang nakatuon yung focus ko, into writing a song that will um, win the contest. So, which means I write according to the use. That's how oh. I use, uh, that's how I write. Ano ba yung use? Ah, gagamitin sa isang concerto. Ah, gagamitin, gusto namin isang art song na parang kakatehin namin sa recital. Uh, it's a cl- kailan, classical, ganyan. So, that's how I write according to how... Uh, a an end user will use it. For example, very oh. simple. Mother Didi calls, Orion, gawa ka ng music for my film. Or Basil calls, baka pwede mas bata pa. Casey Tandingan, or oh. uh, if Espanto, tatawag, Mr. C, meron kayong, can you write me a song? Then, I will write a song for that person. Now, when somebody says, meron ka bang kanta sa baol? Na natatago. Oo. So, treasure mo. Treasure chest mo. Isa sa mga nasa likod. Baka oh, pwedeng kunin, no? Okay. Oo, oh, baka pwede mong i- i- ano, bigay sa akin. Sasabihin ko, sorry, wala akong kanta sa baul. Lahat yun, take na. Kumbaga, uh, wow. Because that's how I work. But okay. now, uh, I realize that um, belatedly, there are some songs, music, uh, pero kung konti pa lang yun, that I have been writing not for anyone but uh, for my pleasure. Kung baga, ako naman, yung sige nga, susulatan ko yung sarili ko ng kahit na anong kanta, kahit na anong uh, tema under the sun and ayun, uh, gagawin ko para sarili. Pero konti pa lang yun kasi hindi ako sanay sumunan oh. for myself. I really thought that, sir, yung mga the songs that you wrote, kasi parang ano eh, talagang, anong tawag doon sa tagal, umuukit sa, sa puso ng sa lahat. Sa puso, sa damdamin. Kasi, sa damdamin, kasi like, for example, like yung um, isang favorite ko na song dito, yung um, Araw Gabi, yung tu, um, kapi, uh, yun, ma- Maalaala Mo Kaya actually, is my dad's favorite. So parang I thought you wrote all these songs, it, it was because it happened to you or you felt something that like alam mo yung tipong tragic love na binasted ako kailangan magsulat ako ng ganito yun pala hugot. it depends on the mga hugot songs yung feelings mo yun pala because of it depends on how the end user needs it grabe ang galing yeah. actually Jesse yung pinag-usapan din ano pang gusto mo yung may hugot ganun? ano pang gusto mo yung parang masaya ano pang gusto nitong a uh, eksena na to na sa entablado, kailangan to celebratory. O susulat ka ng celebratory kasi hindi naman pwedeng sumulat ng uh, kahit na ano lang. Uh, ay, hindi bagay pala sa ano. Uh, first of all, Jesse, hindi ako yung gumawa ng mga alaala mo kaya. Kasi, ah, hindi ba? Akala ko. Yes, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay. 
That's a classic uh, Constancia de Guzman song. Oh. At uh, siguro mga 40s ginawa, 1940s yan. Hindi pa tayo buhay. <laughs> Oo nga. Ah. <laughs> Oo, oh, kasi nakalagay doon. Mali talaga itong hey, na to. Ito okay. ang ko. <laughs> yes. diba sabi, sabi mo, uh, Mr. C, if uh, you make music, most of the time of whatever the use is. So, if it is a music, a kind of music na pang commercial at gusto mo maging hit, like what you said, was there ever a time that you did a, a song na hindi tumib- tumiba at hindi nag-hit? Ay, ang dami. Mas maraming ah. hindi hits. <laughs> yes, really? Hindi hit. Oh, yeah, wow. Definitely. Kasi, oh, wow. Kami naman, ano eh, uh, lahat naman ng songwriters, ganun eh. Parang, syempre, hit and Hit and missed. missed. Because okay. the final arbiter would be um, the audience listening. Sila yung nag decide kung ano yung gusto nila. True, so, true, true. Hindi ko mapipilit. So, we try our best. We try to do the work that we do. And then, we let them out into the world. Uh, and... Bahala sila maganap ng destiny. Let everyone na. judge it, no? Oo nga, kasi... Kasi alam mo, parang I would imagine, ha? Kasi I love to sing also sa karaoke, ganyan. Oo. Mr. C, yung parang feeling ko natin ako sa studio and then once the song is finished or in the middle, yes, but this is gonna be a hit. Kasi di ba gustong-gusto mo? Hindi kayo gumagano. <laughs> so how do you handle it? Pag ano, pag... It didn't... Yun, parang you... Let's say, there's a song that you, you felt it in your heart na mag-hit to. Tapos biglang... Oy, hindi kinagat ng ano, badlang people. So, how do you handle it? Edi, hindi, hindi Edi, na okay it. lang. Ganun Move talaga, on. no? Next project. Move At saka, excuse me, ah. Philippine national, ano na to, ah. National uh, artist. artist. Diyos ko, Lord. Baka lahat, ako, nagma, baka nagtasas na po ang TF nyo. Nagtaas na po. Hey, <laughs> nagtaas ang TF yes, nyo. Yes? Yes. Matagal na mataas yung TF ko. Ah, <laughs> Ayan ang gusto ko. Sorry. Sorry. What, do, what else do we expect? Ano what, ba siyempre? Exactly. Baka mas lalong tumaas. Congratulations again. Actually, I'll be honest with you. When I read it, I was like, really? I thought you've been, you've always been the national artist when it comes to music. Bakit parang late? Parang ganun, parang finally Recent it's lang. time. Recent lang, no? So, yeah. kumusta po nung nalaman uh, nyo? You don't, you don't, you know, the process of uh, choosing the national, I just found it out, uh, well, five years ago, that um, uh, it's very stringent, yung process of choosing oh. um, the national artist. And then last year, I was able to sit down in the selection of the, of the, uh, of the new batch of uh, national artists. Sabi ko, my gosh, parang kinikilatis lahat, ganun, everything that you do. Pero ang gusto ko naman ay at least they're, they focus on uh, your life work. They're not focused on any other thing, but um, maano eh, maraming, there are five main important um factors how they choose the national artist and one of them is body of works okay. so uh and not only body of works but yung quality ng body of works and how it affected the um the national milieu Kumbaga, uh, yung, hindi lang basta, you're not talking only of hit songs but you're talking of uh how did it uh inspire other writers oh. how did it inspire younger people to to uh aspire and write in in that manner anyway so hindi ko alam na ganun yon bahala <laughs> ano pala yon talaga very ano uh, very stringent so it's not true not everyone pala can be a can be a national artist it takes maano siya uh, tedious, ko, no? It's very tedious. Ang I don't know how. Yeah. Pero yun. Um, I got it. And then, you know, the next year, I, I was even more surprised because in 2019, I was chosen to receive a, a Ramon Magsaysay Award. And, you know, the Ramon Magsaysay Award is uh, 
is more uh, international in a way because uh, they give it to Asian. Uh, it's like the Asian Nobel Peace Prize. But so uh, that was even more surprising because um, I, I did not expect anything like that. And when I saw the citation, it says, um, for all my work, uh, in promoting Filipino music. I think it was because uh, for quite some time I had been an educator. So I was teaching in UP for about two decades, uh, wow. college music. And then after I left the College of Music, I handled a uh, foundation, the San Miguel Foundation for the Par Performing Arts. And we did, uh, we handled an orchestra and a big choir a big orchestra and a big choir and we produced a lot of filipino music because wow. i have been a proponent of uh filipino music ever since i i was saying that uh, the only way to keep on um and keep uh, making our culture grow is to inspire people not only inspire teach young people mm -hmm. uh, the tools on how to do it, how to write music, how to arrange, wow. how to uh, produce music, Filipino music. And so after that, I, I, I got uh, into uh, different other foundations promoting music like the Phil Pop. Um, I'm also with the uh, Himig Handog. Oh, and wow, then Himig Handog. Okay. We had, you know, we had we had this call, we had um, a camp called uh, the music camp i forgot the elements music camp and we produced you know the camp um you know we got uh 60 campers every year that was starting oh from 2010 for free we flew them all to dumaguete and um we got mentors to to not only teach what they know but uh regale them with their life stories you know how they made it in the industry and i'm talking about mentors like Gary Valenciano and uh, all oh, wow. the big, all the big songwriters okay? Louis Ocampo uh, wow. uh even sila uh, Jay Durias uh Jazz Nicolas even sila Ebe Dancel uh, we're talking about sila Chito Miranda sila Rico Blanco oh my god all these name uh songwriters we put them all together in one camp and in, in after 5 days we have uh, 60 people graduating, giving them a certificate. They got into this camp, and we teach them everything, even their rights. That's why a lot of a lot of songwriters now now got into the camp. Of course, pagkagaling ka sa camp, you share it with your community, you share it with mm -hmm. your friends. And I will tell you, kung sino mga illustrious illustrious graduates of that camp, oh. alam yung sino? Big names like Moira, uh, big names like oh, Ben and strong. Ben, big oh, names like Tyro and Yumi. I, I'm talking about this, uh, ano na sila, uh, established uh, songwriters, songwriters and artists. Na. So sila. Galing sila doon sa camp na yun. Imagine, but I must tell you, hindi naman dahil sa camp sila sumikat. Dahil of matagal course. na silang marunong, nagpunta sila sa camp na refine yung kanilang karunungan nagkaroon sila na mas malawak siguro na um, idea about songwriting. Mm -hmm. Kaya, uh, when they got into the industry, uh, nakakagulat din. Kasi lahat ng teachers nila, wow, na naunahan pa kami nila. <laughs> Imagine, nagtuturo sa kanila would be somebody like Chito Miranda or somebody oh like uh, Yael uh, ng, ng Sandwich or si Ebe Dancel, or si Gab uh, uh, ng Urban Dub. So, la, or si Jay Durias ng, ng sites. Oh, sorry. South uh, Border, right? South Border. South yeah. border. So, wow. eh, di siyempre, there was, last year, mas malaki pa yata yung Ben and Ben kaya sa all of them, no? So, <laughs> so you can imagine, even Moira, mas malaki pa siya kaya sa... Exactly. And, as long as, of course, they also learn. The lahat yon merong curve, merong sisikat, merong magpaplato, mm -hmm. merong maaring malaos o maaring mag-iba ng direction. So, 
they understand how it works. So lahat yung mga yan, very humble, and they know that ganun lang. <laughs> it is really just part of, we're just all part of that uh, history stream. So we cannot hug the limelight all the time kasi lahat tayo uh, matanda. Even our, our ideas, lahat ng ideas natin, tumatanda. Which is why laging may bagong pumapasok na exactly. mas magaling sa'yo, mas kilala, o mas guwapo, o mas maganda. Ayun. So, Kailangan accept mo lang. Oo. Yeah. May, so, may ups and downs, di ba? Yeah, you know, Jekas, I would like to uh, express that um, our new tag um, for the past maybe five, six years, actually we've been pushing it for uh, a dozen years, maybe for decades. We're trying to um, we're trying to influence or we're trying to push songwriters to write in their own language. Oh, so, wow. Bonita, okay. Uh, write in Cebuano or if you're Ilocano, write more music in Ilocano. Why? Because uh, you'll be able to express your songs better in your language, in the language that you are, that is second nature to you. So I'm not saying that uh, uh, the Filipinos in America will write in... in Taglish. Uh, <laughs> They write in the language that they want because it's it's a more natural expression. So if you're writing in English because you've been speaking English from the start, then that's a I think you should do that. But if you grew up in the province and because uh, that tayo ang feeling natin, no, we want to make it in Manila. Ah, hindi exactly. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Because kami nung sa Manila, we all want to make it also in. The U.S. Ganun. In the U.S., yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Eh, ngayon, hindi na kailangan pala yon kasi yung mga K-pop, mga Koreano, exactly, mga, no? They yeah. did their thing and now they're global. So, Pwede so, pala. I know, Jesse, lahat, everyone was saying, oh, ko oh, bodies Filipino nasan ka hindi ba ikaw yung magaling na musiko? Hindi, kala ko ikaw yung magaling na musician. Kala ko ikaw yung magaling na singer. Wala, natalo tayo talaga ng mga Koreano. Koreano. Yeah, you know what, sir? Question nga pala dun. Speaking of that, like, why is it like, um, yung, I just wanna, I'm just curious about your two cents about this. Like, why do you think yung mga Korean, like, they paved the way actually for Asians, di ba? Asian um, community all over the world, eh. So, bakit tingin mo, anong meron sa, sa K-pop um, world? Bakit bigla silang nag-explode? At in-embrace sila, especially sa mga taga-US. Yeah, di ba nakaka no no nakakagulat. Well, you you have to look at it. You have to look the bigger. You look at that bigger picture because um, K-pop didn't happen overnight. Before the that wave, meron pang mga nauna. The first wave uh, of Korean exports were their industries. So I don't know if you remember, pero ako nung nineties. Uy, ganda no microwave namin. Ang tagal, tumagal siya. Samsung. Uh, and then, later on, may dumating na bagong kotse sa Pilipinas. There were nice cars. Hyundai. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. can you imagine? And now, uh, alam mo yung mga TVs, mga, mga Samsung na TV, yung, yung inyong device na Samsung, well, kayo, siyempre, iPhone kayo, paramihan kayo sa US mm -hmm. iPhone. Pero, um, worldwide, kilala din yung uh, Samsung. Of course, now, marami nang kilala mga Chinese products. But, mm -hmm. what I'm saying is, the first, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the first wave of our getting to know um, Korea was through the industries and then later on, when they stepped on the gas to uh, promote their mm -hmm. culture, halos, well, I think nauna yung ano, nauna yata yung Korean films or mm -hmm. sabay yata sila ng Korean music and music Korean music. films. Yes. So if you're familiar with the, with the Hallyu movement, so you will be, you will understand. It was highly supported by the government. Yeah. Kasi, Ayan. Sa government talaga. 
Yeah, it was a strong uh, sabi ng gobyerno nila um, hindi lang hindi lang industriya hindi lang industry ang ating itutulak itutulak din natin ang ating kultura so yun ah, ang ganda ng kasi o oh, usay right. bay nila they're very, no very, they're very proud with their culture mm-hmm. ah, yeah. abot din tayo doon i i just i just abot. think that we are uh, we have the treasure we have the treasure trove we just need I'm not sure if we have the money kasi syempre Korea has uh, mara- malaki ang industries nila. So mm-hmm. you can see that it's almost like a first world world country in 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 Asia if I'm not mistaken it might mm-hmm. be like Japan or even Singapore. Tayo well it says a lot about our culture also. Yeah, yes. <laughs> oh, correct. Everything. Nako, ang hirap na i-elaborate yun. <laughs> <laughs> yun pala, kasi Pag, parang slowly oh, oh. worldwide domination yung Korea. Exactly, eh, no? exactly. Okay, Pero, wait, ang gusto okay. ko malaman, Jessie, uh, time na ba? Ang gusto ko mag-travel back in time tayo eh. Listen, before ka mag-travel back in time, I'm just curious, bakit hindi nyo Putin Ray na ano? Kasi ang kaling-kaling nyo mag-compose eh. Sa US naman, when you were younger, hindi nyo naisip na, you know what, let me try to, you know, create music. American naman. I mean, let me, I'm sure you had connections and all. Wala, hindi na sabi yun sa utak market, nyo. Ganun. American market. Na, talagang nagpunta kayo sa US. You met producers and you composed songs for these big stars like Mariah Carey and Michael Jackson. Natry nyo po yun? Hindi, because I think that is not, um, that's not the, the usual way to do it. Um, if you ask me, the natural way to do it is you live in that country, you go, you start working in the industry from, not necessarily from the bottom, but you have to learn how the industry works. Mm -hmm. And then you uh, get into circles wherein uh, mapapansin yung work mo. Um, I I will tell you because uh, I, I remember many of my friends saying that Bruno Mars, when he was still in uh, Hawaii, and he was hanging around with a lot of Filipinos, and he, ganun lang, mahilig lang siya ng music, at nakikikanta siya with them, and then later on in uh, in the West Coast, um, when he stayed there, he hang around with a lot of Filipino choristers, you know, choir singers or even singers, mm-hmm. he hang around and then they knew him as uh, someone who's, you know, uh sa music and pasama uh, sama pakanta kanta. What am I saying? Um, it's imbibing the culture. You're American, and you live in America, and it's very natural for you to have uh, ideas or to um, percolate on on uh, artistic ideas or even uh, creative ideas mm-hmm. for your community first and then maybe for the industry later if they find you kasi sa totoo lang kahit na napakagaling mo pag walang naka-discover din naman sa iyo exactly true wala din wala kasi, din kasi and dummy factors and other other factor is if it's, if it's not luck it's uh talent talaga yung creativity and um to be able to stay in the industry is your uh, personal relationships with the people uh True. you have to know how to uh respect and you know you have to know uh proto- protocols because Hindi siya pwedeng uh, mayabang ka lang na magaling ka. Exactly. Hindi. Well fact, connected dapat. Oo. Yeah. Hindi ba kaya ano Mr. C ng TikTok followers lang na millions? <laughs> well, ayun na sasabihin ko, nag-iba Instagram. na yung land. Exactly. Nag-iba yung landscape because of mm-hmm. uh, uh, social online, media. Uh, yes. Social media. Eh mag-iba pa yan kasi yung AI ang lakas-lakas ngayon, masyadong Oh my god, yung AI. Ay, grabe. Ang bilis-bilis yun, no? ng ano ng uh, Ang bilis-bilis niya na, wow, 
hindi kami maka- hindi na makasakay yung mga matatanda. Ang feeling ko talaga ay kayo na lang. Kayo na lang mga bata diyan sa AI kasi Grabe, ako, no? I want to take it slow. I want to uh, enjoy life more. And those in the rat race, yung mga mas bata who uh, who have the energy and who have the the funkiness to get into it, fine. I, I think it's perfect for them. AI will be uh, it's it's like us when bata kami, the first time we had we had our hands on on these commercial synthesizers. Bili hang kami lahat, pagalingan kami, kagandang <laughs> namin ganyan. So it's the same. Uh, hindi na namin ira kanila na yon. But kami makihi compete yeah, yeah, with yeah. them. It, I will tell you the industry is really for um, the young people. I'm not saying that there is no. Um, no market for older people like us, but the point is when you say industry, you're talking of the younger generation. Yes, the younger generation. Mm-hmm. My God. Speaking of younger generation, yun yung gusto balikan ni Jake, yes. I'm sure, eh, no? Kasi gusto natin yes. malaman, Mr. C, yung balikan natin yung uh, childhood mo, we, we want to pick your brains and how was history uh, in the making was done? Like, paano... Paano nabuo Naging... ang pagmamahal mo sa musika when yung uh, kabataan mo, Mr. C? Uh, okay. Uh, sige, in a nutshell. <clears throat> My mother was an opera singer and uh, she taught uh, at the University of the Philippines College of Music and we lived inside the campus. So, um, lumaki ako sa loob ng campus ng UP Diliman. Oh, and wow. uh, okay. yes and uh, so I'm an an academic product kumbaga lahat ng mga kaibigan namin lahat ng mga kaibigan ko lahat anak nung lumalaki ako lahat anak ng mga professor from different colleges no who live in the same okay. area I live in area 1 and uh, merong area 2, 3, 4, 5, 17, ganyan sa UP. And so, lahat ng mga uh, nando, nakapaligid sa amin, mga professor yan. And um, to top it off, we lived in a, uh, it's not a permanent structure kasi sa wali lang yung, plywood lang yung aming walls. And then buti nga lang, GI sheets na siya, uh, yung roof, roofing namin. But, it was a big uh, house. Itong mga housing dati kasi sa loob ng UP, doon nakatira yung mga ano, yung isang batalyon ng mga American maybe officers or mga soldiers. Uh, yes, they, they, there was a base, kumbaga, uh, a base there inside the uh, UP campus. Hindi pa siya UP campus noon during the war. Di, syempre, wala, wala pa naman yun kasi lumipat lang lahat yung <coughs> from from UP Padre Faura, lumipat lang sila sa Diliman in 1949 or 1950, after the war na. No? So, you can imagine yung mga concept hut, yung mga uh, temporary sawali sidings na mm-hmm. houses, ganoon doon kami nakatira. Pero medyo malaki yung tinirhan namin. Siguro parang officer's house yun na maraming ano, Wait, for free yun? For free ba po yun? Or your family, like, Tumira kayo dun, it's because professor yung yung ma- Yes, ma- yes, yes. Kumbaga, this housing was af- assigned to the early professors. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, housing lucky yan, housing you yan. guys. Oh, okay. Faculty housing. Pero siyempre, pagka wala ka na sa UP, talsik ka na rin. Hindi ka na pa rin. Ka na. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Pero so, sir, ah, before may continue, parang while you're saying like lahat, parang you grew up with mga professors, anak ng professors, kung ako yun, pressure yun. Lahat sila matalino. Parang dapat ako din matalino, di ba? Parang pagalingan ng ano. Ganun ba naramdaman nyo, Mr. C? Ng grades, di ba? Na pataasan. Hindi. Uh, hindi ganun. Kasi, okay, I am going ahead of my story. Pero sasabihin ko sa inyo, grades ko nung high school at saka nung uh, nag-umpisa ko ng college. Yeah. Even in, in grade school and high school, Pasang awa lang ako. Oh my God! Super, siguro ang aking, uh, noong time na yon yung grading system sa high school, um, yung 100 yung perfect, and then 75 yung passing. 
So, alam niyo yung aking grade point average nung nag-gumuraduate ako? Parang 77.8. Ganun ka bobo. Ganun ka baba ang mga grades ko. Sobra. Pa, lahat ng grades ko, 75, 76, 78, oh 77. Hindi ako maabot ng 80, 85, never ako naging 90. Uh, in academics, I, I would consider myself um, non-academic. In, in short, medyo bobo ako. Um, in terms of, you know, like, I'm not good in, I'm not good in, in math? Uh, geometry. But, oh, God, you know, I, I found my math later on in college. Parang feeling ko, Ah, ganun lang pala yun. Hindi, I didn't, Same. Like, no. It finally hit you. No. <laughs> Or after college. So, akin, hanggang ngayon, it never hit, it never hit actually, me. Actually, yeah. It never hit <laughs> It's evading me. Oh. Yes, I know. I know. Uh, okay. Let me go back growing yes, up. Yes. I was very young. You know, my mother took in about 10 lady boarders. Boarding house pala yung ginawa ng nanay ko sa bahay namin. Kasi oh nga I told you, malaki. So we had 10 lady boarders. Lahat sila music students from the Visayas. Kasi syempre, you know, um, and if you are from the province, maghahanap ka na matitirhan mo sa loob ng campus if you make it to the UP uh, system in Diliman. So, eto sampu sila lahat sila tumutugtog ng piano nag-aaral ng violin tumutugtog ng flute kumakanta so what can you do araw-araw merong music sa tenga ho sa tenga ho yes yung kumakanta eh yung mga borders lahat sila nakakantahan nagtutugtogan it was fun and naturally na imbibe ko siguro yung yun nga sinasabi ko sa inyo kung saan ka nakatirang milyo doon doon mahahasa yung iyong aspirations kasi that's why I, I'm saying na hin- most probably most probably I will never make a hit song in the US if I go there because hindi ko kuha yung saktong panlasa ng ng American market no? so um Iba-iba naman kasi rin ang generation. So, it, it's really, it's an enigma. You cannot just say that you can make it anywhere because I'm big in Manila. I can be big in New York. No, I don't think so. You have to be there. You have to learn how how it works. Like kayo. Matagal na kayo dyan. You know how it works in the States. That's why pag tumupunta kayo na Manila, inis na inis kayo kasi... Ba't ganito yung sistema dito? Ba't ang track dito? Bakit ganito yung mga polis dito? Ah, wala akong sinabi. Sinabi ko lang. <laughs> Tiyatanong ng opinion ng ibang tao. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. Ayun na. Uh, nasabi ko na sa yun, Jesse. Basically, yun yung... Eh, Jay, kasi yung history ko, as a child, dumakay ako, nakapaligid sa akin talaga uh, musicians. Yeah. Hey, hindi ako, hindi ako makakaalis doon. <laughs> Nakapako na yun doon. Oh, oh, Nakapako na, no? Music and you is one pero, already. Hindi, pero um, I heard that you were like, uh, you took up um commerce? Accounting? Yes. Yes, I did. Ah, okay, ganito siya kasi. When my mother died, I was six years old. Sinabi niya sa tatay namin, do not allow any of the children to have a career in music, ha? Ganon. Don't make them take a music course. So, I understand because parang hanggang ngayon din naman eh, parang sasabihin ng mga parents, alam nyo, walang kabuhayan dyan sa being a musician. Okay. I will explain to you first why uh, that generation of my parents really have this uh, close notion of uh, not allowing any artists in the family because mahirap ang buhay ng artista. First of all, alam ng nanay ko yon kasi opera singer siya. Alam niya na wala namang karir ang opera singer dito sa Pilipinas dahil wala naman nagpo-produce ng opera, opera dito. Yeah. Okay. I also have to um, remind you that our family started and my father and my mother, they just experienced World War II. 
So in the Philippines, in the late 40s, 50s, Manila was rebuilding itself. Kasi hindi ba na, na shell mm -hmm. ang Manila, na almost na level to the ground. So buildings, nasira, ano, um, na blanket bama Manila. Eh. So you can imagine Manila had to be rebuilt. And the Philippines had to be rebuilt. So in a re in rebuilding your economy, ano yung pinaka importante? Ah, you have to stop first your um, your country or your your uh, yung magpapagalaw ng country mo. Kailangan mo na economics. So kailangan mo na na financing. Kailangan mo na ng mga tao marunong uh, magpalago ng isang bayan. So hindi lang siya politics. Kasi basically businesses no so you need people you need employees to run new banks you need employees to run new stores new everything so ang, ang notion ng parents ko is you have to be an employee of a university oh, of a bank, okay. hospital or, or or whatever be an employee because during that time ibang iba talaga yung ano ibang iba talaga yung panahon no no uh, the company takes care of their uh, employees. employees. No? Benefits, meron silang um, health benefits, uh, hospice, hospitalization. But I mean, you know, if I work with this company, which is why a lot of people during that time, even you, you, probably your parents, they stayed with, with the company until they died. And then they had their pension from the company. Kasi... Uh, naalagaan sila ng kompanya. Ibang-iba na ngayon kasi it doesn't, it doesn't work that way now. May mga bagong uh, new ways of thinking, new ways of running a company. And, and you have to understand that, which is why now when people say, why did she tell you na, ano, not to take mm -hmm. music? When sayang o tingnan mo, sana buhay siya, nakita ka niya na successful sa music. Yes. Of course, I'd say I say that also. But I believe in destiny and I believe in sure. uh, what God has planned for each of us. Which is why, eh, doon ako napunta eh. Kahit anong gawin natin na iwas-iwasan yun, nag, nag business administration ako, nag dito ako. Pero lahat na dumating sa buhay ko, lahat ng, for example, nagkaroon ako ng chance na maging uh, trainee sa Philippine Madrigal Singers. Nagkaroon ako ng chance na maging pianista ng isang bank choir. Alam niyo mula kasi nung high school, nakita ko na naghihirap yung tatay ko. Sabi ko, eh apat kami magkapatid. Alam niyo na grade school pa lang, grade 3, hindi na makabili yung hindi na kami makabili ng textbook ko. So alam na alam ko yung, ako lang yung ako lang yung ako lang si Jante doon sa klasa. Buti nga sa UP Elementary ako nag-aaral. Ibig sabihin noon, hindi kami talaga nagbabayad ng tuition fee kasi Thank God, oh. uh, parang ano yun eh, parang uh, dahil uh, faculty ng university ng nanay ko privilege na yung mga anak makapag-aral ng libre. Uh -huh. so, okay. Libre ako sa elementary, sa high school. Maliit lang yung binabayaran namin, parang lab works, ganito, etc. Maliit. So, you can imagine na uh, uh, nawala yung trend of thought ko. <laughs> yung textbook, hindi yung makabili. Yung mga textbook. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So, you can imagine, ako lang yung walang libro. So, oh, wow. I felt so bad. You know, from then on until I, in until high school, wala akong inisip kundi maghahanap ako ng trabaho, maghahanap ako ng trabaho, kahit anong trabaho habang uh, habang kaya para matulungan ako yung tatay ko at saka yung pamilya wow. ko. Okay. That's why, you know, when I was 15 years old, I, uh, 14 years old, I joined the National Painting Contest. Wala naman ako alam sa painting. I mean, <laughs> Para makaahon. Very resourceful. Okay. You know, you know in, 1960, in 1969, I even auditioned as a radio announcer for ABS-CBN. I think DZMM pa siguro yun. Wow. Or, yeah. I did, you know. And I, I 
it was a very great experience because uh, ang haba ng pila, tapos lima-lima lang kayo papasok doon. So, tapos meron nag-audition sa'yo, meron tao doon sa booth. Shane nagsasabi na, okay, thank you, next. Ganon. So, first, <laughs> first time ako naka-experience doon, I was 15 years old and I was practicing at home. I was practicing putting down my voice at 15 years old and oh, wow. reading anything I could read so oh. I could practice how to modulate how to modulate the voice you know uh I like, and then ito pala yan yung first page sa so, so sabi ng ano sa akin oh can you read the first page it was a news account so uh happening now in blah 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 blah, blah or something news 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 Alam nyo, pagka nag-audition ng ganyan, usually mga first two sentences pa lang, pip, ano ka na, uh, titigilin ka na nung ano, nag-audition, sasabihin, ah, thank you, maraming salamat, thank you for coming, next, ganon. So, maraming nasa harapan ko na ganon, na hindi na natatapos yung page. Ako, natapos ko yung page. Sabi ko, oh, wow. galing! Natapos ko yung page. Tapos... Na, yung page yun, parang news, newscaster, ang dating. Sabi niya, uh, can you please turn to the next page? Tignan ko yung next page. Uh, it was an announcement for a new film. Uh, coming soon to Manila. The new um, uh, starring you. Hindi ko maalala. Hindi ko alam paano pronounce yung pangalan ni Yul Brainer or Yul Brainer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, starring Yul Brenner in The King and I. Ayun, kasi na-confuse ako. Piyok ako ng piyok. Sabi nung ano, nag-audition sa akin. Tapos ko naman yung ano, announcement. Sabi nung nag-audition. Uh, uh, hello, hello. Cipriano. Cipriano kasi yung pangalan ko. Eh. Sabi niya, um, How old are you, Cipriano? Sabi ko, I'm uh, 15 years old. Oh, sabi niya ganon. Can you come back when you're 18 years old? Sabi niya ganun. Oh <laughs> Kasi, my God! So, uh, but definitely, hindi naman nila kukukunin. Ano? Kasi 15 years old na ako. So anyway, yan Sana mga... Sana pineke mo! <laughs> <laughs> Uy, eto nga. Eto yung kwento. Oh, okay, but okay. Game, game, year, game. Next year, nag-audition ako as a pianist for a choir sa isang institution, isang banko sa Makati. They were looking for a pianist. Ang kapal ng apog ko. Ito yung gusto ko ikwento sa mga bata. Eh. Kailangan makapal talaga yung mukha nyo. Uh, hiyaan, nyo ng, hiyaan nyo magkamali kayo. Hiyaan nyo na ma-reject ma kayo. It doesn't matter. It's an experience that you have to learn. You don't have to win all the time. You need mm -hmm. to just experience it. As a matter of fact, yun ang pinasa ko doon. Dahil nga, isa lang yung goal ko. I really wanted to help my dad. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I'm gonna try to work in any capacity I can as long as I'm prepared for it. You know, it's true. At 15, I came prepared. I don't know how it happened. Um, I, it's a long story also. I was able to... Remember, I, I told you that we had lady boarders in the house. So yes. when we had to... When we had to transfer to another house because my mother died and we had to leave the house because hindi na siya faculty, we brought with us a box of, I don't know what was in the, in the box before, but uh, nung na-transfer kami, binuksan ko, nakita ko puro piyesa ng piano, iniwan ng mga borders namin. From about 9 years old until about 12, 13, 14, all I did in the afternoon Kasi wala rin naman akong pera maglakwat siya. Wala naman ako pupuntahan. So nasa bahay lang ako after school or during summer. Walang choice sa bahay lang ako. Iniwan ng nanay ko yung piano niya. Kasi syempre nung namatay na siya, yun parang heirloom na lang siya. Uh, Pinag-aralan ko yung mga piyesa, pinagtsagaan ko yan unti-unti. So I started with pieces that I could play like uh, grade 1, grade 2 pieces tapos hanggang sa umabot ako sa mga uh, fugues, sa mga sonatas ni Beethoven wow. umabot ako doon syempre wala akong technique hindi siguro maganda masyado yung aking uh, fingering, finger technique siguro hindi magaling yung tones ko 
But I could play and I could try to imagine kung nakasulat forte, di malakas. Kung nakasulat piano, di mahina. On my own, I learned. And, Wala po talagang nag-guide sa inyo kahit ni Isa on how it is? And I will tell you, no four years old ako, syempre nag-aaral ako ng piano kasi nanay ko nga. Ano, was yes. An, ano. yes. So kung hindi yung border sa nagtuturo, I only learned yung formal at four years old, yung formal na nag-recital ka. Pero ano ba naman yung tutu na four years old? Eh, di yung tutu na four years old. ABC, June. happy Do birthday, mga gano'n. Yes. <laughs> Mary had a little lamb. Oh. So anything that I remembered before. But you know, my older sister, medyo mas marunong siya talaga mag-piano kaysa sa akin. She could play uh, simple pieces. Siya yung, habang nagtutugtog ako nung bata ako, nung pinag-aaral ako, siya yung tipong, hindi na, never siya umupo beside me to tell me, oh, ito yan, ganito yan, ganyan, ganyan. Hindi. Nasa kwarto siya, sisigaw siya, masyado mabagal yung tugtog mo. Oh. Dapat F sharp, mali. Dapat, si, nasa garden siya, kanyari, maliit na garden doon, nagwa-water siya ng plants. Uy, mali yun. Dapat ganito yung chord. Ganito, oh. ganyan, ganyan. Okay. Ganun, ganyan. Ganun lang, meron naririnig from the bus yung, yung sister ko. So, I prepared without knowing I was prepared to play anything in front of me. Kasi sa kababasa ko, nasanay ako magbasa ng nota. So, kahit ano ilagay mo sa harapan ko, babasahin ko, tutugtugin ko on sight, at sight. So, nagulat sa akin, nag-audition sa akin at 15 years old, in audition ako, mag-piano for a choir, eh, buti na lang, choir accompaniment siya. Hindi siya ganun, hindi naman siya solo piano, no? Kaya, medyo mas, parang feeling ko, hindi siya ganun siya kahirap. kahirap. But I could play. Gulat yung, yung conductor kasi tinugtog ko. Pagtingin ko, tinugtog ko, ganyan, ganyan. Wow. Oh, yung sinabi mo kanina, sana sinabi ko na hindi ako 15. Yeah. Yun. Sinabi ko, 18 ako. Ayun na. <laughs> Natuto na. Natuto na dun sa experience na yun. Buti na lang pala. Minsan talaga, you need to fake it till you make oh, till it. Till you make it. And then, you need to experience it first, right? Na ag- pa- then, then you'll realize na, oh, okay, that's the reason why Teka I have muna, to ha? experience that so I can lie. And then you... Eh, kasi... <laughs> Eh, kailangan mo nang ano yun, alam tau, ma- maahon sa ih- hirap. Kailangan mo magantay ka pa hanggang 18, hindi na. Hindi na, Then, para-paraan na lang. <laughs> oh my wow. God. Grabe. Alam, uh, bakit ayaw niyong i- gawing ano to? Um, a-, a-, a book about your life. Masyadong um, pang MMK ang life mo, sir. <laughs> yes. Hindi, uh, actually, kasama na yan sa project ng kasama din sa project ng ano yon ng national artist would be I have to put up I I have, there's somebody writing a book on on my life so actually there are two of them one is a historian so he's writing a more formal um, biography the other is a um, another writer and she wants to take it in a different angle but eventually I'll, you'll know about it so Anyway, uh, just to round off that story, I got the job and okay. I was able to make my way to college and I was able to help in the family. And dahil nga, I was ready for it and I opened up into a new world. It didn't really matter if I was taking up accounting because I became a musician anyway. Yes, exactly. And, and along the way, doing all this music, I met Senator Laurel, and he knew I was good at this. I was working with his son, Victor Laurel. You know, he they offered me a scholarship in music. So I took it, and I went home to my dad. I was 18 years old, and I said, Dad, I've been uh, offered a scholarship in uh, full scholarship in the College of Music and uh, music, and uh, so I'm going to music. I'm going to take up music formally. And then my dad only asked, "Why? Well, how old are you now?" 18, I said. And he said, "You're old enough to decide for yourself." 
Yun. From then on, musician na ako. I graduated. I went to college. I graduated. And then I I didn't stop doing all the music stuff I did. Ano yung first, ano po, kinong post nyo? Na sumika talaga. And you, you, parang, ano mo, parang trophy mo na, yes, I made it. Um, big, big trophy yung kaganda na ating musika. Yes, definitely. That was done in 77. But at the same time I was doing kaganda na ating musika, I also wrote Paraisong Parisukat. It was for a film. Entitled, yun, uh, Maskip, Maluwang, Paraisong, Parisukat. Um, and Basil sang it. But in the film, it was Christopher De Leon who sang it. No? So wow. I don't know if you're familiar with that song, but Paraisong, Parisukat became a mild hit in Manila then. A, a lot of people still know the song. Pero sir, ito so, ah, oo. At, nako, ba, sabi mo saglit lang. Ang dami na ba pa namin. Ang sarap-sarap ng kwento. <laughs> Pero sir, saglit. And, I, wait ah, mabilis lang sir. So, paano ka napunta? Kasi siyempre, okay, you graduated um, music, right? Paano ka biglang naging Ryan Kayebe? How did you get into to the industry? The mainstream. Oh. The mainstream. Uh-huh. Uh, mabilis. Um, I was telling you that um, uh, so, I was an arranger. I How do I say this? So I was playing piano in uh, in a choir, and uh, I was making tambay at the UP College of Music. You know, I'm from the UP Business Administration College, but I would walk to the UP College of Music all the time to make tambay because I made a lot of friends from there, and I liked the place because musicians yon ang sayang inga inung college. Yes. Kantahan, tugtugan. Sabi ko, this is paradise for me. But anyway, I met a lot of friends there. So I met Nonong Pedero there. And then Nonong Pedero was a, uh, a jingle writer and a composer. I don't, you know, he wrote the song, Narito Ako, Nara, wow. da, 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 da. Wow. He wrote okay. that song. And he also wrote songs for uh, Lia Navarro, Boy, Mga Suyak Moy, Malabing. Anyway, Um, he asked me to arrange for his uh, jingles, so I got into that, and then I met, um, I met, I, and then I worked. I started working with Joe Marichan. He asked me to write arrangements for his songs. So I started in the industry as an arranger. So Pilita met me in another television show, and he asked, she asked me, "Can you arrange for me?" And wow. I arranged for her her songs, uh, the songs that she would use for, for uh, shows. No, so you know, from 1970 all the way to 1976, 77, people knew me as a pianist arranger in the wow. industry. So if I was not uh, playing for somebody, uh, playing for uh, somebody like uh, the ambivalent crowd or the new minstrels. I was playing for uh, Kohoy Laurel, and then Pilita would ask me to play for her. Or uh, and then later on, I met si Basil Valdez, si Celeste Legaspi. They asked me to be their musical director. Yon, it started that way, unti, 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 unti. And Grabe. then something happened. Sabi ko, I was a ranger for songs of this person and that person. And um, eventually, na realize ko, uh, gusto ko compose You know, when I started writing, I started writing probably in 1974, but people only asked me to write for television, uh, either a song for TV musical or a song for TV theme, um, awards night, yung mga ganon, production numbers, hindi siya worthy of recording kasi hindi, what, I'm, what I mean is hindi siya commercial recording. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So eventually later on, uh, I wrote, uh, I joined the contest. Uh, in 1976, I joined uh, a world popular music festival. I sang my song. I got third prize. It's wow. called Um, 
isang awit. And then I learned the lesson. Sabi ko, nako, next time, if I'm going to join a contest, I'm not gonna sing it kasi I'm not the best interpreter for my songs. Oh. The best interpreter for a song would be a professional singer. So the next year when the first Metro Pop Song Festival was introduced, sumali ako. And then, nung nakapasok ako sa, sa finals, I decided I was going to get a professional singer because di ba, I told you I write because I want to win. Kunyari, I write a song for a contest, then you have to aim to win for that contest. Yes. Why would you join a contest if you're not going to win? Uh, it's a contest. So, so it's the yeah. same thing about why will I not write a commercial song if it's not going to be a big hit? You know, ganun lagi yes. yung isip ko. Why will uh, I write? May purpose and goal. There's a goal. Yeah. There's an end goal. No? So, lagi yung tinatanong, eh, ba't ako susulot ng ganito? Ba't ganito yung style or whatever? Anyway, I decided uh, I also want to write music. So that year, nagkataon, I got involved with Gem Records. And in Gem Records, nandun si Haji Alejandro. And so the people there said, why don't you use Haji to sing your song kay ganda na ating musika? That made it bigger. You know, meaning bigger, meaning wow. had more chances of winning, winning because you have a popular singer and you have, uh, you know, you have that song and then Ang Kumanta, very popular. At that time, Haji was the kilabot ng mga... Mga kolehiyala, di ba? Ayun siya, no? So you can imagine. Nanalo siya sa 1978, first Metro popular Manila Popular Music Festival. Pinadala kami sa Korea in 1978 sa Seoul. Nanalo kami ng grand prize ni Haji sa first Seoul wow. Korea Song Festival. So, ang dami ko nakilala ng mga Koreano noong pa pala. <laughs> Oo nga, eh, sana pala, no? <laughs> kayo, kayo, kayo pala, pala naunan na naka-discover na ng ano, galing nila. <laughs> galing! Eh, ma- Pero tinan mo, Sarah, Minsan, yung mga ganyan, yung kakatambay mo, di ba? Yung mga akala mo, yung pala, meron pala siyang, ang tawag, no? uh, yung mga networking na yan, may kahinat na, no? Akala, Ayun, aka, akala, ko, akala ko, sir, yung mahilig kayo uh, tumambay no, say, sa business administration. Actually, I was about to say that, Charo, eh, Charo. sa mga babae. <laughs> say ko, siguro sa mga babae ito. I told her, sasabihin mo yung mga tambay, o oh, hindi ba gano'n din si Bruno Mars? Tumatambay lang siya kasama ng mga Pinoy, eh. Tapos, eventually, Yun, doon siya napunta, doon sa music. Ayun pala yung gusto niya talaga, maging musiko, oh pero hindi niya alam kung paano i-express. Anyway, yun. Ang galing, grabe. Wow. Sobra. Alam mo, sir, bago tayo mag-end, I know, kailangan mong, kasi ano daw siya ni Mises, eh, no? Driver siya driver. today ni Mises. Eh. Musical, oh, oh. musical director Ganyan po siya, po pero driver po ni Mises. Ni Mises. Oh, sir, mabalis nga, <laughs> bago tayo mag-end, paano mo na-meet si Mises? Isudyante ko siya. Oh my God! Right. Uy, student UP. killer! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, first year ko nag, ano, first year ako nagturo kasi in-invite ako ng, ng College of Music. Can you, ano, start uh, as a lecturer in the UP College of Music? So, I, I took it. Uh, first year ko as a, a lecturer, second year na ng wife ko. So, tama-tama kasi yung na-assign sa akin na class uh, basically was their class. Although she was not enrolled in my class. She went to another section. Um, but, uh, naging barkada ko siya muna. Uh, we, we were, marami kami. Siguro mga five, six. We ate lunch together. Ganyan. Until later napansin ko, oy, yung mga kasama namin, hindi na sila sumasama. Dalawa na lang kami. Obvious. Oh, obvious. <laughs> Pinayaran niya tayo para utitin umagas. Delibre ko na kayo. Hanggang kayong dalawa na lang. Hindi, pinadahan ko na sila ng pagkain nila. Doon na lang kayo kumakain. <laughs> My Life prime, dito. kami na muna para kami na lang, date na to, date in, kumbaga, hindi siya aware my date na kami. <laughs> ano yung, so, kin- so, ano yung kinantahan nyo? Pin- nag-play kayo ng musical instrument? Uh, sa... Hindi. Sa, uh, what, First of all, kasi musician siya, musician ako. So we got, 
you know, we, we got a concerts, we enjoyed uh, watching movies. Kasi yung, ito nga, when we watch movies, kasama yung buong klase. Kasi pin, it was like lecturing them on ano yung hinahanap nyo dyan. Na, ano. Tapos, either the elements of music, sige nga, anong instrumento yung tumutugtong dyan ngayon sa ano, movies. Yeah. Oh. So it was both entertaining and educational at the same time. Kasi I believe that life experiences are also very important for your for your education kasi mas nakikita mo yung application so hindi ka nag-aaral ng ng theory yung para ina-apply yon sa tunay na buhay so dinadala ko sila sa mga ganong milieu so uh, so tinatanong niyo ano pa yung well we we both love to eat and my wife yung mother well their kapampangan yung mother niya ang sarap magluto so Ang niloloko nga ako kasi kinakain ko lagi yung baon niya. So, oh. <laughs> hindi actually binabigay niya sa akin yung baon niya kasi sabi niya, Aro, kasi lagi itong, ito, ito yung lagi yung baon ko kaya iyon na lang ganun. Tapos eventually sabi niya, sabi ng mga iba, oy may ayun palang ginawa niya, nilagyan niya ng gayuma yung pagkain. Ng gayuma yung pagkain. <laughs> <laughs> kaya palabas hindi, na alam yun. Yun. Yes. Kung, kung, well, siyempre, during that time, mas shock, wow. Yung teacher, ano, they got together. Pero hindi, hindi ako lumiligaw sa school. Hindi naman at all. Tapatago. <laughs> eventually, eventually, nung nag-graduate siya, saka lang naman ako, ano, nag, uh, nag-advance to the, ano. Ayan, next level. Ayan, hindi natin. Ayan. So hindi po sa loob ng school, nasa labas po ng gate. Yes, <laughs> Yung nagtatago muna kayo doon sa mga kay, kay Manong na nagtitinda ng mangga o sa sinap-sinap oh, doon. O oh, ayan. O doon sa mga Manong ng fishball or sa betero. <laughs> My God, alam mo, ang haap, alam mo, dami-dami pa na yung magkwentuhan sa akin. Ay, okay. Bago kayo man, it's very important na masabi yes, ko sa inyo yes. na... I wrote two songs for my wife on her last birthday as a single woman. Kasi nung year na yon kinasal kami ng, kami ng December. So I write, I wrote two songs for her. And the first song, I said, oh, who do you want? Sinong gusto mong kumanta nito mag-record? Sabi niya, eto, itong singer na to. Uh, itong isa, sinong gusto mo, etong singer na to. Nung time na yon ang popular was um, uh, 1985. Gary and Martin. So sabi niya, ay ito si Gary kakanta. Gusto ko si Gary. Ito si, ano, sana si Martin kakanta. So when I told Martin if they wanted uh, to sing, well, you go to the managers first or their producers. And unfortunately, their producers, they had, um, sabi nga nun, Mer- katatapos lang ng, ano, ng CD. So, if we're gonna do that, siguro next CD na, next year, ganyan-ganyan. Eh, gusto ko na siyang ma-record. So, I asked Basil to sing one. Umuo siya. And I asked Nono is Suniga to sing another one. Umuo din siya. Ano niyo yung kanta? Ke Basil napunta yung Ikaw ang tunay na ligaya. Oh, no! What? Uh, Kay Nono Zuniga, ang pinakanta ko sa kanya, this was, this, were, this was the second song na gift ko kay Mrs. Kayabiab. Eh, to the former Mrs. Kayabiab. The song I gave to Nono and he recorded it was Araw Gabi Nasa Isip Ka Wow! Nalimutan na yung lyrics. Na, <laughs> na, 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 na papanaginip ka papanaginip ka araw gabi yun those were the two songs I wrote for her before we dahil kay Mrs. to mga classics na to oo oh, oh, nga pa. pero oh my god sir imagine mo si, si Gary si Sir Gary kasi we had interviewed with Sir Gary Barinciano na rin yes, yes. Sir Martin I'm sure nung time na yun na sila Sayang sana pala. <laughs> Umuon na ng kami <laughs> No, but eventually I wrote a song for them. So, Martin, I wrote uh, Once Upon a Life. da 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 Ay, sorry, sorry. Si, si Gary yun. Yes. Uh, Once Upon a Life. We saw tomorrow. That's the day. And we are one again. da 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 And then for Martin, I wrote How can I feel right 
When you're not by my side. Oh my God, nakakaiyak yung song na yan. Yun yung song na I wrote for Martin. Oh Mga first songs niya. Sa question, wow. meron ka na bang na- naisulat nung nabasted ka? Or yung talagang may heartache? I'm curious ako kung ano yun. <laughs> Kasi nung time na yun, hindi pa ako masyado nagsusulat ng music. But, um, ito, ito nga nakakatawa. I will tell you, uh, it's true pala that um, you write, yung, when you write with inspiration, uh, ewan ko, siguro lumalabas pala talaga yung yung nararamdaman mo sa iyong sinusulat. Kaya yung kaya yung tinanong mo, nabasted ka ba? Totoo yan eh. You write really extremely nice music when you're very happy or you're very sad. sad. It it brings out something inside you that when you write, you uh, lumalabas siya. So, totoo yun. Uh, I, we need inspiration in life and I'm very happy to say that my wife has been uh, my inspiration uh, ever since. Now, I have two kids and my kids are also musicians. You know, we, did, we didn't what? force them to be musicians. Biglang sabing ganun. Biglang sabi nila. Uh, eh, biglang yun talaga yung gusto nila. Wala kang magagawa. So, oh, wow. Eh, kasi po, but napapal- it... napapalubutan po sila ng music. Na music Parang music bata ko kayo. Bata yung oh. Boy, exactly, boy. ganun nga. Ang right. swerte. Alam mo, sa totoo, sir, sa totoo lang ha, sobra akong nabilip tsaka na-inspire sa'yo. Kasi I thought like, you came from an affluent family, na sobrang, syempre, UP, nababasa namin yan. UP, so we thought like, oh my God, you're like cum laude, you're like salutatorian, ah, valedictorian, nung, when you were like kindergarten. And, pero nung, sa totoo lang, yung mga ngayon palang nakakapanood, Nagulat ako doon kasi I can relate eh. Kaming lahat, natibo kami tatlo dito. Na, pwede pala, na, pwede pala ganun o, no, Jessie. Kasi nung time na yun, kaya para sa mga ano, malaking ano to, sir, ha? Um, talagang ano to, um, maraming batang, at saka parents, especially parents na, this is a wake-up call too. Kasi kami, we were brought up na pag ang grades mo, pati ako sa anak ko ganun eh, pag ang grade mo parang B plus or 75, 78, 80, ganun. Oh my God, tapos magagalit ka. You have to make sure. Um, iniisip mo parang you want to compare your son to your, your, your to, to ano, someone else, yeah. mga pamangkin, mga kapitbahay. Kasi nga, ano ba yan? Bobo. Pero hindi pala, no? Pwede ka palang hindi ka at academic na, na hindi naman sabi mong matali. Parang hindi, you're not good in, in terms of academic taking exams. Pero pwede, you can excel in some other uh, some other ways. Look at Sir Ryan Kiyop. Naging professor pa. Naging, lahat na and now national artist ng Pilipinas. Di ba, can you believe? Sabi mo, sir, 75 ni hindi nga ako maabot ng 80 eh. I swear, <laughs> kinilabu. May pag-asa na, pa tayo, Jessie. Nang hindi, sabi ko nga, oh my God, so nung bata pala ako, okay lang. Kasi yung daddy ko, ginaganito ako lagi. Hindi rin kasi ako mahilig mag-aral. Gumagal yung daddy ko. Hayaan mo na, yung pagiging madaldal mo, yung pagiging kung ma- net- networker mo, hindi tawag niya, lakwatsera mo, ganyan, yung mga katsika-tsika mo. Sabi yung daddy ko, Balang araw, masusurpass mo rin yung mga yan. Yung mga yan, next time, sila mangungutang sa'yo. Yung mga nagjo-joke yung dad ko, oh, yan gamitin nga mo yan, yun, gamitin diba? mo yan yung kadaldalan mo. <laughs> Pwede pala yon Tamo si sir. Guys, ang galing. Totoo yan. Kasi may mga kilala po ako, sir. Ang dami kong kakilala na sobrang galing talaga nung high school, college. Ayaw pa nga magpakopya. Sila'y pa'y nagagano. Pero, ulo sir, nung, nung graduate na lahat, sabi ng daddy ko kasi lagi na sabi na, Anak, don't worry. Pagka-graduate mo, the, the, uh, the race of life will start. Kung hindi ka madiskarte, walang mangyari sa buhay mo. And it oh, happened. Yeah. I've seen everyone. It happened. Grabe. Don't take it from Sir Ryan kayo. Yab, grabe. Ang galing. Iba, national. <laughs> so pwede pala tayo maging national artist yung mga anak natin kahit hindi magaling. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> diba? Ano lang, sa wala nga nag-guide kay, ano eh, kay Mr. C. Itinan mo, oh. Determination lang ngayon, ha? Basahin mo ba naman yung mga nota? Di ba? Oh. Saka, <laughs> di ba yung mga... <laughs> Sir, bastos yan. <laughs> <laughs> no, musical notes. Di ba oh, yung mga pyesa? Ito talaga. Diba? <laughs> oh. Ang hirap nun, ha? Boy, diba? go. <laughs> sir, alam mo, promise, sir, pagpunta nyo dito sa New York, ah, pag merong kayong 
concert or anything. So, ano, pa-picture lang kami. Sleeve rin namin kayo. We'll kahit saan yung gusto ko, Mark. Mr. Please, C. sige. Of course, Just take me to... Take me to uh, you take me to Kat's um, Delhi. Delhi? Oh my God! Oh my God! Favorite Fave namin. namin yun. <laughs> I, I know. promise. The last time, parang hindi ako nakapunta kasi masadong busy. Eh, sabi ko every time I go to New York, I really have to go and get my uh, pastrami. My pastrami is so good. Ako naglalaway ako sa pastrami pag naalala ko. Sir, pag umuwi ako ha, ito pag umuwi ako, promise, ayahan carry ko yung pastrami. Magahan carry ako ng tatlo para sa iyo kasi mabigat 'yun, medyo mabigat. Promise yan bidadalhin dadalhan kita ng pastrami. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-hand carry ng ano ng karne and kahit luto. Hindi ba? Il- kailangan i- ibalot mo siya talaga in uh... O oh, sige, babalot ko na lang. <laughs> 26 hours lang naman 'yun eh. <laughs> Buhay pa yun pagdating dyan, sir. Buhay pa yun, sir. Ay, Ikaw no. naman, no? Pastrami Ay, pa din siya. Pastrami pa rin. No, what I mean is baka i-confiscate nila. Hindi, pag-pastrami. sir, sa totoo lang, ang fishbowls nga, in-in-in-out eh, in, in, namin Napapalus- dito. Napapalusok eh. niya. Eh, pastrami pa kaya. <laughs> sir, ikaw <laughs> Oh my God. Tugutom na ako. Babantay ka na, Jesse. Babantay ka na. Oo nga, ako patay, patay, patay. <laughs> hindi lang ako marami ha. Sabi ka na. <laughs> Binokelia ang buong bayan. Oh my God, sir. Marami. Sober nag-enjoy Thank talaga kami. Thank you very much, Mr. C. Bitin na bitin na bitin. Oh, oh. Grabe. I hope nag-enjoy kayong lahat. Sobra, sir. Pagbalik na pagbalik. Uh, pag umuwi ako ng Pilipinas, promise ko yan. At pag pumunta kayo dito, yun ang unang-una namin dahil pipick upin namin kayo kahit mahaba pila pipila kami para sa iyo para sa pastrami mo pipila din ako kasi oh, ano po, gumagalaw siya eh. hindi naman oh, oh. siya stagnant eh. yes, kahit yes, yes. agad ang pila oh, aabot okay ka din lang. sa harapan mo Diyos ko, parang bukas gusto kong mag-lunch doon. Sige, dahil sa akin. Tapos, mag-picture ako, Hi, Sir Ryan! <laughs> Ininggit pa. <laughs> Ininggit pa, eh, no? Thank you so much, Sir. Sir, last ano naman, last um last uh, message mo sa lahat, especially yung mga, yung mga, sa lahat ng mga nag idolize sa sa'yo, especially yung mga aspiring people that they wanna hone their, their knowledge when it comes to music and feeling nila parang ano ba yan ang bobo-bobo ko pero ano kaya mangyari sa buhay ko ayan ang perfect example si Mr. Ryan kaya via sir <laughs> message naman and for a- everyone and after po mag-promote na rin po kayo ng mga yes, projects ninyo yes mag-promote po kayo ng projects ninyo oh <clears throat> actually um, all you need to do is huwag kayong matakot kailan okay lang makapalamukha ninyo lagi ko sinasabi sa mga sudyante ko wala kayong hindi kayo aabot kung hindi kayo mausisa, kung hindi makapalim mukha nyo, magtanong kayo kung hindi nyo alam dahil napaka-importante yun. Huwag nyo ina-assume lagi na alam nyo na lahat. At saka isa pa, laging may mas magaling sa'yo kaya hindi ka naman pwede magpayabang. <laughs> dahil laging may mas bata, may mas matalino, mas, mas mahusay. Pero yun na nga, kanya-kanya tayo ng talento. Hindi naman kailangan lahat matalino sa pag-aaral. <clears throat> meron kang iyong binigay sa iyo ng natatanging talento. Bawat isa sa atin, yan, binigay sa atin ng may kapal. So, the earlier you you discover the, your talent, the better it will be for you in your future because you will know what to do with it. So, maaga pa lang, medyo manmanan mo na ako ano yung dito yung gusto ko, dito ako magaling, uh, mabosisi ako, ito yung pwede kong gawin. Now, sa totoo lang, ang gusto ko lang sabihin sa inyo, uh, please be kind to everyone. Most importantly, kailangan mabait, kailangan yes. kind. Kindness is very important. So, while I'm here, you're giving me the uh, platform. Pero na kaming concert ng Ryan Kabiab Singers sa Singapore, uh, yung mga nasa TFC dyan at sa Singapore meron kaming concert sa Esplanade sa concert hall ng June 28 at 8pm uh, tickets are already available and uh, we're hoping to return to the US kasi we did a US tour in 2015 16, 17 18 and 19 uh, 2020 hindi na 2021, 22, 23, nag-uumpisa pa lang. So hopefully next year, baka makita yes. ko kayo dyan. Oh. And, uh, 
Dahil sisingilin ko si Jesse tsaka si Jace. Yes! Jcast. Jcast. Nang catch. Catch daily. Promise na. Ako, ano pa pag gusto nyo? Diyos ko, lahat na. Nako, promise. Yun na muna, yun na muna, yun na muna. Ah, yun na muna. <laughs> Uy, sir, sabi ni Jill yung friend namin, sabi niya, pwedeng magdala, gaps ang, ng, are allowed to bring food. I think pwede, no? Oo. Oh, oh. oh, pwede, oh, oh, oh. Pwede mag-hand carry, I think. Oo. Oh, oh. Tapos, um, egg salad. O, oh, sige, egg salad. Sabi ka nun. Egg salad is a cat. Masarap din yun, oh, ay, Sister oh, oh. C. Oh, my God. Oh, yes, yes. You know that I also like you know, eating egg salad sandwich. <laughs> Ayan. Oh, my God. Nag-agri tayo lahat dyan. Basta pagkain. My God. Maraming salamat, sir. Okay, sir, gotta go. Pakasabi kay Miss, Mrs. Kayabiang pasensya na 15 minutes late, ha? Sige. Ang, <laughs> sige, sige. ang national artist po ngayon ay magiging... Designated right. driver. Yes. <laughs> oh, mag-last toast lang muna tayo, yes, sir. Yes, maraming salamat po. Yes. Thank you, TFC subscribers and sa FYE Channel Communicants. Uh, mga kaogat, amidst the challenges of life, let's still find ways to be happy. Let's all talk about it over, over a, glass a glass or two. Or two. Sister C, love you. Thank you we so love much. love you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.